How's it going everyone? I just wanted to do this video. It's been a while um, about the Leatherman Curl um, and why I do not like it. I don't recommend it. Um, this is according to me. Uh, this is my beliefs. Um, it just reminds me too much of the wave. Uh, I got a Gen 2 wave anyway, so it's the same. You know, it doesn't have the interchangeable wire cutters. Same as that. The price right now is on clearance. You get, I guess it's called clearance. I can't believe it was $89.95. Now it's 15% off. So uh, these you can probably get on eBay brand new for 100 bucks. the Wave, Wave Plus. I think it's just such a better tool uh, option as well. The Wave over the Curl. I'll show you why in a sec. Um, let's see here. So if you look at the tool arrangement, the only thing you're missing, oh, okay, so you're missing the micro driver, which I love. That's huge for me. The micro driver, and they put the all instead. I don't like the all. I like the uh, micro driver a lot better. Um, this is the same over here. The bit driver and the, you know, the um, bottle opener, can opener combo with the wire stripper. Same thing pretty much. Stainless steel as well. Um, the scissors are the same. So the tools are the same. The thing I don't like about the curl either is it doesn't lock. It has like a slip locking mechanism. So it doesn't actually lock. It, um, you can actually push down on it. I, I, I don't feel safe with that. I like having my multi-tools lock and engage like that. Every tool on the wave locks. So... I love that. Uh, even the bit driver, it will lock. But this does not lock the inside tools like that. So if you go on the, so the pliers are pretty much the same here. If you go on the outside, you got a knife, 420HC, which is over here. On the other side, they did the file. So you got the diamond coated file, great. Um, but you're missing, you're also missing the serrated blade, which I love. And you're missing the saw, which I love as well. So you're, you only got two outside tools now. And uh, for the cost of the weight reduction, this is eight and a half ounces. I believe this is seven and a half. So you're missing one ounce. That's not too, too much. I mean, if you think about it, the Benchmade bug out's about two ounces. So I always put that into perspective. This Benchmade bug out, two ounces, and it's pretty light. It's like feather light. So I just think of that like that. But um, and the you know the file, it's kind of hard to get into because you got to really dig your you know fingers to get into that file to get it out. If you need like one hand opening, um, this does have a nice pocket clip though. I give it that. I think it shows it on, let me see, one side. Oh, that's a video. It comes with a sheath as well. But the pocket clip reminds me of the Free P4, which I love. It's a really nice pocket clip. I think it's actually better than the Waves pocket clip, uh, just the way it sits. It's, uh, you can see you got more retention, you know, deep pocket right here. Um, it's just, I think it's really nice the way it is. And it's got two screws that hold in place as opposed to this. It's just kind of wiggles. And I've had this pop off before as well. But the all reminds me of the Surge's all in a way uh, that they put. I just would rather have, um, I just rather have the uh, micro bit driver on that instead of the uh, all. Just for me, that's personal preference. Um, I do like, you know, I like my tools locking. I just feel safer with everything locking instead of the slip lock, slip liner mechanism where it doesn't actually engage. Um, I just, the outside tools do lock though. The knife will lock on that and, uh, the file too will lock on that. But I just think for the price, 76 what is it 7646 i would skip that um the leatherman curl i think you for you know an extra 20 bucks or whatever on ebay you can find a brand new leatherman wave plus 
Um, these are really, really good multi-tools. Um, a while back, the Leatherman Charge Plus Orange 10 was 119. I would have definitely went with that. And that's lighter weight. It's 8 ounces as opposed to 7.5, half, half ounce. You wouldn't really feel it too much. I mean, this is so light, 2 ounces. I can barely feel that. This is like feather light, the bug out. Um, so I don't think, you know, a half ounce you lose sleep over. Um, it's the same size as the wave too. You know, physically it's the same size. The, the depth is different. It's less thick though. That's the only thing. So if you want like, you know, less thick or whatever, I guess you would go to the curl, but it's like in between the price of the Leatherman rebar and the Leatherman wave, the curl. So I just, I wouldn't even look at this thing, the curl. Um, I'm not sure why people really, really liked it. I skipped it uh, right when it came out. It was a big deal at first, but now I'm not hearing anything really about it. And um, it was just, they didn't really innovate. They just took away things, kind of like Apple with iPhones. They took away um, things like the saw. They took away the serrated blade, the essentials that I love on a multi-tool they took away. And that's kind of sad. And they kind of called it motivation or innovation and i don't think it is um that's my opinion same with the leatherman bond i i think the same thing uh rebar is top notch over you know leatherman bond leatherman wave is top notch over the leatherman curl to me i don't think these should have existed maybe it should have though like in other countries but in the united states i don't think i i don't see a point of having this or buying this uh, this is just my opinion, my personal opinion on the Leatherman Curl. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you, maybe you have a Leatherman Curl and you love it. Um, I mean, it's, it's a good tool. Don't get me wrong, but I would just, you know, pick, obviously I'd pick the wave over the curl and I'd pick the rebar over the curl. Um, but that's just me. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, just wanted to kind of do a little rant on this. Uh, I know they're doing like kind of clearancing or, um, you know, discounts on Leatherman's page. I think their sales aren't doing too well on the curl and the bond. So maybe that's why. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.